Hey everyone, this is Tim here at InstaCluster. Welcome to another episode of InstaBlinks. Today I am joined by InstaCluster VP of Training Services, Justin McLean. Justin, thanks for joining me. Hi Tim, it's great to be here. Hopefully going to tell you all about open source software and licensing and business models. Yeah, just really wanted to, to get your insight. You obviously have a lot of experience in the open source world. This is a very much a, a growing area of interest for for enterprises today. To get us kicked off, Justin, can you just tell us a bit about yourself and your role at InstaCluster and how you see the work that you do today? I've mostly been a freelance developer all my life and I got involved in open source uh, software and the Apache Software Foundation in particular about a decade ago. Um, and since my in involvement in that, I've uh, become involved with the Apache Incubator and that's where projects go to learn about the Apache way and how to operate as an Apache project and build a community around them and eventually graduate as a top level project. So I've mentored a, um, close to a dozen projects uh, in helping them get to that point. Um, and I help other projects out there as well. Um, I'm also currently on the board of the ASF and I'm assistant VP uh, of legal services. Okay, and so for those un uninitiated, what does the ASF stand for? Uh, the ASF is the Apache Software Foundation, one of the largest software foundations that's out there. Um, and basically they're a charity for the public good that creates open source software uh, free of charge for everyone to use. So moving on, I guess, to your, um, to your experience, and it'd be really interesting to get your view on this, is that you know, I've had some contradicting views about, about open source uh, you know, working with with businesses that are that are looking at um, you know buying traditional software-based license models where they, they mm -hmm. pay subscription fees and they, they get a, a capability or a product um, you know versus others that see a lot of um, a lot of flexibility and a lot of possibility with open source technologies that you know allow them to adopt software for free and give them you know room to, to innovate and be agile and and to to kind of deploy you know, pretty cutting edge technologies. So in your view, I'm interested to, to hear your thoughts on what, what are the biggest business benefits from adopting open source solutions and, and why should businesses care about it uh, at all? Yeah, okay. So there's, there's huge advantages to adopting open source. It means, as you just mentioned there, that you can innovate much quicker than your competitors. Um, it also means that you don't have to hire smart people to work on this software because they're already there in the community and, and working on the software. Um, it also means that you don't have to worry about legal implications about the software. Um, that may depend on where the open source software is from and the sort of governance model that's that's behind it. So the big benefits there, we, you mentioned there being able to innovate faster than your competitors. What, what mm -hmm. is it about open source technology that enables organizations to, to innovate faster than, than others? Um, the fact because there's a community behind the open source project and that everyone is able to contribute to that community and add new features and, and help you know, push the project along in the direction that the, they want. And mm -hmm. they get other, other people from, from other companies and uh, other individuals um, who can help do that um, um, without you having to put them on their, your payroll. I mean, that's that's mm, mm. One, of, one of the most compelling reasons. Right. You get good software for free. All that source code is out in the open and, and everyone can mm -hmm. see how it works. Mm -hmm. it means that bugs and security issues will be fixed quite quickly in okay. uh, a, a popular open source project that has lots of people working on it. Mm -hmm. So that, I guess that, that touches on a pretty important point that is probably fairly contentious. When you look at, uh, you know, closed source, uh, you know, software vendors versus versus open source, the big sort of fair uncertainty and doubt is that this this open source software has no vendor, has no, no, no single throat to choke. So it's open from a security standpoint, it's unsecure, you know, who's going to patch it, who's, who's reliable. So uh, how would you think about that issue compared to a, a traditional proprietary I think when you look at the risks, that, that there are risks on both sides, and some of those risks are, are, are very similar. I mean, mm -hmm. just because there's a security issue with a bit of software, it doesn't matter whether it's open source or whether it's proprietary. Um, mm -hmm. you, you have no guarantee that it's going to be fixed immediately. I mean, there's mm -hmm. more focus on security these days, and things do tend to get fixed quicker. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a business will have its own uh, agendas and priorities and, and may not fix some of those things as quickly as you want. Whereas mm -hmm. with an open source community, um, you can actually contribute the patches yourself or yeah. where you can hire people who can do that for you. 
uh, or you can encourage the community to do it for you. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's actually a, a bigger risk that if you have a single inv vendor involved in a project, because that vendor could change direction, could change the licensing, uh, could totally abandon the product altogether. And, and um, I can think of some big names that have done this in the past to uh, some of their projects. In terms of businesses that are that are looking to to leverage, you know, whatever software it might be, mm. any businesses looking to to innovate faster, to scale more, to have better performance, better features, so that they can they can capture more of the market of, of whatever they're going through. So it sounds like you know there and there's, there's well known um, benefits of leveraging open source technologies as as you've talked about. You've got um, speed to market. You've got uh, security through. Um, I would many say eyes. Transparency through through many yeah. eyes, exactly. Openness and transparency is a, is a huge part of open source software. Yeah. And, and and of course the the other thing is that it's free to adopt, so you've got a very low barrier to entry. From your end, what are the key factors um, that businesses should consider when mm. choosing an open source product? Okay, there's there's several things that you need to consider here. Um, the first one is what license is under, mm -hmm. uh, and there are different sorts of open source licenses. So you need to be a little bit careful and make sure that that fits your business or your business model and what you're doing. So the the, the second thing I'd look into is, is uh, okay, so it's got an open source license, but is it actually open source? Is there a community around it? Mm -hmm. um, is that community diverse and not just controlled by a single vendor? Okay. Because then you've got this risk that, that, that as I was saying before, the vendor could change direction. Um, the vendor could totally abandon the project altogether. Well, their business model could change, well, they could change the licensing or whatever. And that's a risk mm -hmm. uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. So you probably want to look at projects that are in a foundation. Is a vendor neutral place for people to operate? Fantastic. Good to have your eye on that one. Thanks. Thanks, Justin. So look, thank you very much for joining me, Justin. It's been an absolute pleasure to, to speak with you today. And thank you everyone for watching uh, another episode of InstaBlinks. Please feel free to get in touch with myself or Justin or anyone at the InstaCluster team if you're keen to chat open source business models and whether or not we may be able to help out with some of your projects. Thanks a lot.